Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good everybody. Evening. Good evening, teacher. I am very glad to see you once again. So, welcome to one of our final classes. Oh, it's so, it's so sad. I don't want to finish. <laughs> I have had so much fun with all of you. Well, um, today it's going to be one of our final classes. On Monday, we are going to be checking on the platform to, uh, to check on the final exams and everything to see if you have finished everything on, I mean, the necessary. And on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday next week, we are going to close the module by uh, sharing experiences, okay? On Tuesday, I am going to ask you to bring a little bit, uh, a little um, information prepared about your experience on the module, okay? Para el día martes, vamos a tener eh, unas intervenciones ahí chiquititas de cada uno, donde cada uno de ustedes va a platicar. Let me just... Ok, eh, cada uno de ustedes nos va a platicar un poquito acerca de eh, What did I learn? O sea, ¿qué aprendió? What uh, you didn't know? Right? Algo específico que de veras no lo sabía y usted dijo, hey, sí que eso sí que me dio un montón que no lo sabía. And what are you expecting for the next one? ¿Qué esperan para los demás? ¿Qué aprendieron? ¿O, o qué les pareció el módulo? ¿Cómo lo sintieron? Eh, ¿qué, es, qué es algo que les quedó bien marcado que no sabían y lo aprendieron y qué esperan de los siguientes módulos ok, it will be like one minute ok, one minute presentation ok it is going to be only one minute speaking it's like, for example right? imagine that it's my turn it's like, uh, hello class, well I really enjoyed every single class and the one that I really enjoyed the most was about the family members because I didn't know many of the names And now I know the names of the family members and I really like these and these classes because of the vocabulary, the activities we did or something. And for the next modules, I want to speak more. I want to participate and I want to learn more vocabulary. Okay, something simple like that, that is going to be on Tuesday, okay? Okay, that is going to be on Tuesday for us to class the, the module. Also, if you have any recommendation, if you have any difficulty on the process, it's a moment for us to, to also speak about it, okay? And uh, that will be on Tuesday. Tuesday will be our last day together, and then you switch for the next, uh, for the next level that I hope everybody have already finished with the process, okay? Do you have any question? about the next activities? Yes, no, no, yes. Me? Uh -huh. And next level will be a star at Wednesday? Well, Wednesday. On, th on Thursday, then I think, I, I am not very sure about the date where the next module is starting, but um, for sure, You are going to receive your information as you did for this one. Oh, okay. They are going to let okay. you know. I don't think that it's the next day. Oh, it's okay. not the next day, but maybe it's like one or two days later. But oh, for sure, okay. you are going to receive all your 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 things. The WhatsApp group, the list, everything. Because as it is a new um, one, you have to change all that. Okay. And the other question. Yeah. And it will be a possibility that you can repeat the, the, the period with us. Ah, it will be fantastic. Oh, I will love it, but I don't know. But maybe for sure, for sure that I am going to see you in the next levels. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. You're, thank you for that question. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be very okay, beautiful. Thanks. Yep. De seguro nos vamos a encontrar en, en, en otro nivel un poquito más adelante. Ya cuando sean advanced students, and be like, hello, teacher Nati, blah, 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 blah,
in the advanced courses. I am going to be waiting for you there. Or who knows? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> who knows? Maybe in pre-intermediate three, I am going to be <laughs> there <laughs> teaching again. That would be fantastic. So um, that is the the those are the news that I had for today. Eso eran las noticias del día. Okay, okay. We, we are going to start the class. Today is our class number 14. And as you know, we have uh, the class agreements, right? Continue practicing your English. Even, even if you cannot uh, do it with another person, try to practice your English on your own. You can have a WhatsApp group uh, with yourself, right? Pueden hacer un grupito de WhatsApp con ustedes mismos. And then um, you can go and record voice notes okay you can record voice notes and say like today was a very beautiful day i did this 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 and this and that okay pueden grabarse ustedes mismos en una nota de voz y escucharse para que ustedes vean el avance que han tenido si se entiende si es claro el mensaje que ustedes dejan pueden hacer ahí un, un grupito con alguien de ahí sacan a la otra persona y les queda el whatsapp solo con ustedes and you can record the voice notes for you to practice your English. Or at the end of the day, you can write uh, on your notebook uh, something about the day. For example, today was a very beautiful day. I did many things. I went to work. I watched TV. And then you start like making a little report of your day. That can help you a lot for you to continue practicing. Or if not, make a phone call with one of your friends from the group. And for sure, speak in English, right? That it's going to help you, for you to practice uh, the language and for you to keep on creating more and more vocabulary, okay? So those are the tips. Tres tips por un dólar. <laughs> Very good. Very... Yeah, in combo. In combo. Cheap, That's a combo. Cheap. Very cheap. <laughs> yeah, three tips for a dollar. <laughs> Yesterday, what did we talk about in the previous class? Uh -huh. About the family. We talk about the family. Good. What else? Mm. Present progress. Present, present progressive. Progress. Very good. We talk about present progressive. What else? The possessive. Um, Apost yeah, the possessive okay. apostrophes when you talk about family members, right? Good. Yeah. So today we are going to go over, we are going to go over a little bit, right? This is what we were talking about yesterday. All the vocabulary about family members, right? You have here all the different vocabulary that we were practicing. For sure, you also talk about your family trees. Right, you were presenting the different family trees and you did a very, very, very nice job. Uh, later at night, uh, I was checking on Ciro's family tree. He sent it on WhatsApp. It was a very nice uh, thing, the one that he created. So um, this is what we did yesterday, right? To share um, a little bit on the family tree. And for sure, we were practicing about present continuous, right? On the sentences, uh, what are you doing? And for sure, we were completing different types of sentences. But today I wanted to start by having a little conversation, right? And uh, here, for example, when and the lady says, hi, Stephanie, what? Remember that we use the verb to be in this case? Are. What are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly, right? Let me just mark it. Doing. What are you doing? Doing. Right, the ing form. What are you doing? Hey, Mark, I study. I am standing. standing. Very good. Standing. I am standing in an elevator and is stuck. Do you know what the meaning of a stuck? No. That is like boom, and it's not moving. And you're like, ah, imagine in an elevator that it's not moving, that you are stuck in the middle, right? Está. Travado, right? It's stuck. Oh no, are you okay? Uh huh. Is I am standing or I am standing? I am. Oh, good, good, good. Very good, very good, Mister. You see, those are the things that I really like from this class. 
say I am standing. I'm standing, right? Because you need standing. the verb to be. Very good. Excellent. You see, ustedes son mis ojos cuando lo estoy viendo. I am standing <laughs> in an elevator and it's stuck. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, I wait. It is moving now. It is moving now, moving. right? It is moving, it's moving now. now. Se está moviendo. Thank goodness. When you say thank goodness, it's like, gracias a Dios. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. You say, Marcy. How are you? And Justin. Ah, how are you and Justin? Teacher. Enjoying. Yes. Enjoying. Uh, uh, goodness, uh, because when say, uh, si nos relacionamos a Dios, nosotros es God. G-O-D. Um, observe God, Godness. Uh -huh. uh, you have seen uh, this one. Uh, I, bueno, observo que dice go, Godness. Ahí, ahí, oh, goodness. That is, uh -huh. In this case, goodness. it says goodness. Thank goodness. goodness. Right? But uh, it is an expression. It's like when you say, ay, gracias a Dios. Mm -hmm. Right? It is not actually referring to God because you can say, thank God. Yes. That, that it's moving. God. And uh, it will be correct if you say, thank God. But in this case, yes. like, thank goodness, right? Thank goodness is, um, gracias a Dios. But it's just expression, right? Okay. Or like when you say, gracias al cielo, que se está moviendo, mm -hmm. right? Thank goodness. Oh, al fin. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right? So, but yeah. it's a very good observation. You say, Marcy, how are you and Justin? Is enjoying. Enjoying. Uh, Good. Enjoying. How are you and Justin enjoying your shopping enjoying. trip? You, uh, we. We are we having. Having, 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 having. Having a lot of fun. Having a lot, a lot of fun. You say, we are uh, having. We are a having lot a lot of fun. And your brother. Your brother, it's only one person. It's your brother. Uh, explain, explain. Exactly. In this it's case, you say, Is your brother, is your brother, spending, is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom, he is working. It's buying. He is buying. buying. He is buying. buying. Okay, he is buying. buying. He is buying only one or two things. And look at the picture. Only one or two things. He is buying only one or two things. And look at the picture. I mean, he has a lot of bags, right? He's not buying just one or two things. Let me see. We are going to go here. With my students, I am going to be a, a in the first conversation, right? This is the first conversation, the first one and the second one. I am A and all of you are B, okay? Hi, Stephanie, what are you doing? Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. I'm standing, I'm standing in, in my elevator, elevator and, and it's stuck. It is stuck. And it's stuck. Oh, no, are you okay? Yeah. yeah. I wait. Wait. It is moving. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, thank goodness. Marcy, are you and Justin enjoying your shopping dream? We are, we are having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, he's buying only only one or two things. That's all you say. Good. Let's see. We're going to go over the first conversation. We're going to have Luis and Rosa Maria on the first conversation. Go ahead. Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing? Hey Mark, I am studying in a elevator and it and it is stuck. 
continúo. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I white. It is moving. No, then, no. Thank goodness. Good. Thank you very much. Reactions for your friends. Very good. When you say, I'm standing, I'm standing in an elevator and it's stuck. You say, oh no, are you okay? You say, yeah, I, and then you keep silent for a moment because I, uh, wait, it's moving now. Thank goodness, right? So that's the form you do it. This is one conversation. Conversation number two, I have Rosa Esmeralda and Mr. Santos. <coughs> Go, Rosita, you start. Hi, Stephanie, what are you doing? Hey, hey, Mar, I'm stand, standing in an elevator, elevator and it is stuck. Oh, no, are you okay? Yeah, I why it's moving right now. Bueno, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Good, very good. Thank you very much. Excellent job. Then we're going to go with chun, 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 Nady and Claudia Lasso. The second conversation, this one. Mercy, how are how are you and Austin and your your shopping trip? Yeah, having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom. He's buying only one or two things. That all. That's all. Okay, he's buying only one or two things. Thank you very, very, very much. And for the second conversation, my last two volunteers are going to be Catherine and Fatima. Mercy, how are you doing? Mercy, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? Okay, uh, <clears throat> hello, it's me. El visto, el visto que más duele, come on. Hey, Fatima, you have to continue. But the microphone, we cannot listen to you. Fatima ha puesto en el chat que tiene problemas con el... Ah, yeah, I, I didn't read the chat, sorry, I, I, I yeah, haven't checked it. Okay. Ah, you see, oh, we're very sorry. And we were like, Fatima, Fatima, Alicia, help me. <laughs> okay, uh, we are having a lot of fun. Brother spending a lot of money. No, mom, he's buying only one or two things. He's, that's all. That's all, right? He's buying only one or two things. That's all. Walter Morán and Ana Maria, go ahead. Conversation two. Okay. Merci, how are you, and Justin? Enjoy, enjoy. Enjoying? Enjoying shopping trip. We are having a lot of fun. Is your brother spend, spending a lot of money? No, mom. He is borrowing only one or two things. Thanks all. That's all, right? Very That's good. All. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Reactions for all the participants on this conversation. You see, they are uh, democratic because I choose them. <laughs> you, 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 and you. Thank you very much. So in this conversation, when you have, what are you doing, right? Or when you have, for example, a, I am standing, it is moving. Are you enjoying? We are having, your brother is spending, he is buying. In all these cases, we are using the present continuous, right? That is the one that we started yesterday 
in the class. So today I wanted to wrap up the modules by ex uh, explaining a little bit about quantifiers. Quantifiers, as the name suggests, it gives you a percentage of possibilities or things. For example, if you say 100%, it's all. It represents 100%. If you mention all, if you say nearly all will be like a 90%, okay? A 90% will be like nearly all. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, 90% will be nearly all. Most will be like an 85, like an 80%, let's say. If you want to represent the word most, you can, if you are referring to around 80% of something, say, yeah, most of the families, right? Many, a lot, and some, it will go from 75% of this, and it is going to go up to what? 40%. From 75 to 40%, we're going to use these different phrases that we have here. For example, you say many, a lot of, or some, right? You are referring to, for example, 75% of the people, 60%, 50%, or 40%. And when you go, not many, a few, or few, in this case, you are referring to 35% to 10% of the things that you are talking about, right? Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples, right? Quizás el 35% de las parejas del Salvador. A few couples. And few couples, like el 10% de la población, right? Few families. Few families have seven cars in El Salvador. And many families in El Salvador have two cars. Okay, that it's a possibility, a quantifier. But if I say no one in El Salvador, well, we never know. No one, okay, no one in the class has a limousine. <laughs> because we don't have it. It's, or, or do it's you? true. It's ah, true. Okay. Okay, si tiene alguien alguna, cuéntenos. Okay. Well, it's a limousine. <laughs> well, it's not a limousine, but it takes me and picks me up, right? Uh, no one, right? A like few. Like a toy. Uh, yeah, only like a toy, right? But I can say a few students, right? A few students have one car. And it's true, right? Few, yes. A few students have a car. And some families in this class have more than one car. Hmm? Yes or no? I don't have two, but it's, it's just an example. Right? When you say, like, maybe they have. Uh, is anybody uh, from your family in this situation that you have more than one car? They say, like, see, sí, tenemos uno del negocio y el de la casa. And you have two cars, and maybe you use them. So, the quantifiers are used to represent a specific amounts of things, but when you are not sure about the number, okay? When you are not sure about the number, you can say um, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot, some, not many, a few, you and no one. Okay. That's it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it was too noisy. Uh, when you have here, for example, uh, the reading, you have all families have only one child. In China, for example, many of the families have only one child. Nearly all families have one child. Most families have one child. The next one. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. And few couples have more than one child. And no one gets married before the age of 18. Because you don't have a dui, you cannot do it. 
only if your parents agree that you can get married. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Is it true this sentence for El Salvador? The first sentence that we have here? No. Uh huh. No. No, right? Because here in El Salvador, it is not common that families have only one child. Nearly all the families in El Salvador have more than two. Yeah, in, in, in this case is the opposite, right? In El Salvador, families have more than one child. Yes. We don't have only one, say more than one. Many families are not smaller in El Salvador, the case is the contrary. You say many families are <laughs> bigger. Right? Okay. Okay. Ten tenemos, tenemos una fórmula. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Tenemos un, un cuarto de milla por ahí. It, it, it sounds very, very hard. Okay, for El Salvador, not many couples have only one child. <laughs> We're going to change the, the, the meaning on this one. And this one, it's true. No one gets married before the age of 18, right? No one gets married before the, the age of 18 because you can't. So, um, is it clear the use of the quantifiers? You use a specific quantifiers when you don't know the amount or the exact number of this. Because I cannot tell you, 300 families in El Salvador have only one child. Because we don't know, right? And you don't know, you are not sure about it. You cannot say 47 students have two cars. We don't know. We don't have an exact number, right? A few, or you don't say like only 10 classmates have more than one dog because we don't know, we're not sure, right? Imagine if we have all the students from English Corporativo, Ooh, we're going to have like 700 people and we don't know the exact number of things. So in those cases, you can use quantifiers. You can say all, nearly all, most, many, some, not many, a few, right? If you want to give just a, an estimated amount or an estimated quantity for things. For this, I have one little exercise right here. And according to, let me erase my hieroglyphics. According to what we spoke before, right? According to what we had there. If you are going to talk about the 50% of something, how are you going to uh, represent it with a quantifier? Con qué quantifier podemos reemplazar 50%? Some. Some. So how is the sentence going to be? In China. Some. For many, for many, many, get married by the age of 22. A lot, a lot of, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. 87% in Australia. Almost, almost. You say almost what? Almost. A lot of. A lot of, right? You say nearly all or all or most, right? In Australia? Most uh, people, so say in this case, couples have most of married all. couples have nearly, all have nearly all, nearly all, right? Of married couples have children. In the United States, zero percent. No one no of one. the people. No one of the people. Okay, this is a good example that I wanted to make. When you say no one of the people, do you think it's okay to use it like that? If you say no one, uh -huh, Maria Delia, go ahead. I think he only no one. Exactly, because if you say no one, es ninguna persona, nadie. 
So if you say no one of the people, sería nadie, sí. nadie de los nadie. Uh, <laughs> Ajá, nadie, nadie, nadie de los nadie. A few of the people vote before. No, because it says 0%. Ah, yes, yes, yes. 0%. You say in the United States, no one, no one. because you don't use the, the people. people. Oh. You don't use the mm. people, okay? Porque sería no. nadie, nadie de las gentes. Y eso sería bien incorrecto. No mm. one vote before, before the age the of 18. 18. 18. Excuse Perfect. me. Yes? Number three, uh, we can use uh, anybody. Yes, you can say anybody, but in that case, you are not using a quantifier, oh, right? Okay. But it's it's okay. You can use it in the sentences. <clears throat> but right now, as we're using the quantifiers, that's why we're using no one. But the meaning will be the same. Okay. You're welcome. If you say 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Mm, not many. Okay, you say not many, a few or few. The, the three of them are correct. Few. You say few. few. Of the people. Aha. Do you say few of the people or few people? Few people. Few, few people, people, right? Few people. few people. Good. Few people in Germany live alone. 78% of Americans. Many. Many. Many American high school students have, students have jobs. jobs. Very good job. So that's the way we use the quantifiers, right? For you to replace a number, right? For you to replace a number or for you to replace a percentage. I have here a little example. Okay, I am going to, to silent everybody just to... to for you to listen to the conversation, okay? It says, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers? Cuantos? Actually, I'm an only child. An only child means that you are the only one at home. I'm an only child. Soy hijo o hija única. Really? It says, yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. No sabía eso. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot, you get lots of birthday presents. <laughs> okay, so I am going to ask you this question. Do you come from a small family? or from a big family? Small. And I need you, I need everybody to answer. Say, I come from a big family. I come from a small family. Tell me. You come from a small family, good. Small family. Is there anybody here that it's an only child? No. 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 Me no. Me no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Would you like to be an only child? No. In, in my no. personal case, I think it's no. No good. No, no good. <laughs> okay. ¿A quién le hubiera gustado ser hijo único? No. No. Imagine no. All, the, all the stories with your brothers and sisters when you were younger. I think uh, I was, I would like to, to be a... An only, only child. child? Really? Why? Yeah, but, uh, I was thinking it, it would be boring. <laughs> yeah. Who are you going to fight with? Okay. Okay, sir. You see? <laughs> When I say, ¿Con quién van a ¿Qué, pues, peleamos, pues? <laughs> no, but that was good, you see? You see? Al menos, René se le quitó el sueño, mira cuánto. <laughs> okay, good. So, we come, I, I think everybody here in the class comes from, from very big families. I mean, we all come from very big families. 
at least two, three, four brothers and sisters. Teacher. Yes. In, in my case, in El Salvador, I only only a child. You are an only child. So <laughs> in Salvador. In El Salvador, because my, right? Because my family, they are in the United States. I have so? I have five two, three three sisters and and two um and me and one one brother. Okay. We we have five. We are you are five. five. Uh, building this. Yes. Right? Okay, but mm -hmm. in El Salvador you are an only child. So I, I only child. Enjoy actually, it. Actually, actually, only, 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 only me. <laughs> hey, that's good. Enjoy, enjoy it. You enjoy. are the only one. It's like, ay, mamá, le trajo comida a todos los hermanos. Ah, solo para mí. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yes. That's good. So we come from a big families or small families. Let's see. I am going to go on the conversation with. Let me see. With Rene, for you to wake up. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Rene? The microphone. Excuse me. Don't worry. Okay, aquí no ha pasado nada. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Rene? Actually, it's the conversation, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I am only one child. I am an only child. Mm -hmm. I am. Really? No. Uh, I Actually, I have a, one brother and one sister. Really? Yeah. Huh? That's all. So um, most, of, most of the families in El Salvador? Yeah, most families in El Salvador have only two children. Nowadays. Nowadays. What does it mean nowadays? En estos días. Okay. Ultimamente. Okay. I didn't know that. What about what about you, teacher? Um, I come from a big family. I have a, well, one sister and one brother. Wow, it's typical in in El Salvador. Um, well, not really. A lot of families have ten or twelve kids, but it is great. You get a lot of birthday <laughs> presents. Good. Thank you very much, Rene. You survived to to our mini uh, on the spot conversation. Good. So we're going to continue here. I'm going to go back to the conversation later on. And I have a little exercise. I have here some information about other countries. And I have, for example, in the United States, um, facts from the United States. 41% of homes have three or more televisions. What is the next fact that we have there? What is the next one? Sixty-three. Uh huh. Can you read it, please? Okay. Sixty-three percent of family almost always eat dinner together. Uh huh. What about the next one? Fifty-five percent of mother will join with young children work. Excellent, Rosa Esmeralda. The next one. Um. Seventy-eight. 78. 17 or 8 school students have jobs. Have jobs. Good. The yes. next one. 4% of, of adults between the age of 18 and 12, 35. 35? 35, Mary. Good. And the last one? 27% of adults. In the age of 18, they for live with their parents. With their parents, right. So, do you get the idea of all the facts? For example, when you have here, 41% of homes have three or more televisions. Rosa Maria, tell me. 
¿Cuál es la pronunciación de porcentaje? Percent. 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 Yes. Percent. Yes. Okay. When you say 41%. Percent. Okay. So in this one, imagine here. 41% of homes have three or more televisions in the United States, right? 41% of the homes have three or more televisions. 73% of families almost always eat dinner together. Siempre comen juntos. 55% of mothers with young children work. Okay, las mamás con hijos pequeños trabajan. 78% of high school students, el 78% de los estudiantes de bachillerato have jobs. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 married. Se casan entre las edades de 18 y 35, el 74%. And in the United States, only 27% of adults between the ages of 18 and 34 live with their parents. This is in the United States, okay? Right now, I need you to get the image that we have here. Get the image, please. Get the image that we have here because we're going to use it. I am going to make little groups and I need you to discuss with your friends the facts but here in El Salvador, okay? I need you to discuss the facts here in El Salvador. How many percent of homes do you think that have three or more televisions? Yeah. Recording in progress. Welcome. <laughs> Teacher, eh, no micrófono. Escucha. Sorry, I am back. I guess. Okay. Se vuelve a desconectar. I am just coming, go, coming and going. No, teacher. <laughs> okay, just give me one second. I am going to connect You're to another. Welcome. I am. I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I am back. Okay. Oh, yeah, thank you, my dear internet provider for this horrible connection that I have. Good, my cell phone was saving, saving the day. Okay, I am back, Woo. great. The so, Wi-Fi on the neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> Niña Mari, I said, can you help me with the Wi-Fi? <laughs> Why did you turn it off? I am working, I said. <laughs> yes, well, I am, I am back uh, to, I am back in class. We're going to, we were going to make some groups, right? I was going to share the, the image. I am going to share the image again, right? And about the facts that you have here uh, in the country, okay? So we're going to work on this part of the, on this part right here, right? And you are going to discuss or if you want, in order for us not to take uh, uh, more time or uh, to avoid the connection to be lost, we can discuss it. But let me try the groups is if, to see if I can do it. And if we can do the groups, we're going to go, okay? Do you have the image already? No, no. Okay, screen, screenshot it, please. A screenshot the image. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes. we're going to we're going to start the rooms. I need you to discuss what percentages do you think go along with the reality of our country with the different situations that we have here. Okay. So. Yes. Here you have the situations. Let's go to the rooms right now, and let's. Let's work on this. Go ahead. Yes, it's working. There we go. Accept the invitation, please, to go to the groups. Excellent. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's working. There you go. Okay, and I have only two people who are still not in the groups. Hello, Oscar, you cannot enter to the groups. Oscar Lopez ah, and Luis, but it's in the other account. Okay, and let me see, good, good, good. Oscar and Luis, do you have any problem to enter in the groups? There you go. Okay, so Oscar, Oscar Lopez. Okay, I'm going to go and check on the groups to see how you're doing. I think uh, uh, the, the oh, 80 80 percent the mother with young children work. 80 percent, I think. Yeah. yeah, you see me? I'm here. <laughs> yeah. You can continue discussing. Don't worry. Imagine. And the of high school students have a uh, fifty percent. I know about I know about Duke dating. Okay. Uh, do you think that students in high school have jobs here in El Salvador? Yes, 50%. Oh, 80%. Percent. 80%? Percent. Yes. Did you work when you were in high school? Yes. No. Uh -huh. ya, tra when, ¿Ya trabajaban ustedes cuando estaban en bachillerato? When was I study at high school, no. my parents paid no. the college no. or institute. Uh, you had an informal job. Uh -huh, informal job. And inform, uh -huh. But if you say like may, many, how many students do you think, how many high school students in El Salvador do you think that they have a job? Uh, I think like in the uh, situation. Uh, depends on the situation. So agree on a number. But in general, I think uh, the student have job in the high school. Uh, 20%. 20%. Okay, continue discussing. I'm going to go and check the other kids to see if they are working. Okay, voy a ir a los otros salones a ver si están trabajando. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I will come ah. back in a second. It's like, huh, are you working? Huh? Yes or no? Okay, I will come back in a second. 60 and 60. Yeah. Ah, okay. <coughs> estudiantes que uh -huh. trabajan y estudian no mucho 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 Yes. ¿Cuántos de ustedes no. trabajaban cuando estaban en bachillerato? No. Yo en no. bachillerato. No. 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 All right. Uh -huh. no. So. Ten. No more. No one. Or ten. Diez por ciento. Ten. Ten por ciento. 
Ten percent. Yeah, I think. Ten percent. Yes. My father. La gente que de de antes. My father. Yes. Um, my father. The other. Mm. Adultos que viven con sus padres. <laughs> Uh -huh. how, how many people in El Salvador still live with their parents when they are 34? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Cuando, cuando cumplen 30, 34. Wow, 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well <laughs> yeah, ahí, ahí me salvé. A, a los 27. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, you see. 26. 26, you see. So. We, we made the difference. I'm going to go to the uh -huh. other rooms to see if they are working, okay? I'll come back. Uh -huh. And... Boo. <laughs> Hi. ¿Cuánto ponemos entonces? 75%, I think. 75. Yes. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. 75, in which one? And... and the the third the third mm. one yeah the third, the third one uh, mothers with young children work yeah yeah las mamás con hijos pequeños trabajan how many percent of ladies in el salvador do you think that work and they have little kids we think the 75% 75% yeah I hear you have one example. Okay. The ladies with little kids that work. <laughs> yeah, Alicia Guadalupe, you work, right? <laughs> no, I, I am wife, wife house. A housewife. Uh, a housewife. Hey, what a nice thing. <laughs> yeah, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so finish please because we are about to go back to the rooms. Okay, I'm going to go to the okay. last group to see if they are working, okay? Terminemos, okay, terminemos. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Pues sí. Uh-huh. Hi. Hey, why do you keep silent when I come? <laughs> you were like, pues sí, mira, Pero... que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. And then the teacher enters, is like, you keep silent. <laughs> okay, did you finish the sentences? Mm, maybe. Fatima, <laughs> Fatima, where are you? I can see only the, the ganchos there. And Luis, where are you? Hey. Poor Oscar, you were alone here. They were alone. Hey, Oscar lo habían dejado solito. No estaban platicando con usted. Ah, bueno, ya vino Fátima, mire. Ya volvió. I think yes, the, the microphone is bad. Okay, yes, I know. Or damage, I don't know. It's damage. Or damage. Or it's in, damage. I okay. guess uh, maybe 10% of home have three or more television in El Salvador, maybe. 10% 10, 10 of homes. 10%. Yes, I think more. Yes. More. Because now with this Claro thing and, and, and the other one, the Tio, no que, so they have a lot of TVs in the house. Oh, maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe hello, Claudia. The second one, I guess, twenty-five percent of family almost always eat dinner together. Yeah, because here in El Salvador is not very common. All, all the people is working. Yes, they are always working. Okay, Oscarito, let's go back to the main room to discuss it there, so we can just finish with that okay. one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you very much for discussing the facts with your classmates. Thank you for your answers. I was checking on the different groups 
And I, I saw that many of you were working there. That was very good. So tell me, and I just open your microphone and give me the percentages that you actually agree on. For the first one that says, how many percent or how much percent, what is the percentage of homes that you consider that have more than three televisions here in our country? 20%. 20%, right, of people here in our country have more than three televisions. Anyone thinks something different? No, almost 20%. Yeah, almost. What about the next one? Families almost always eat dinner together. 7%. 70. 70. 70. Okay. Mothers with young children work. 75 percent 75 60 percent 75 60 good high school students have jobs it is poor you think 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent of high school students right it's like very few yes. right very few students have jobs adults between the ages of 18 and 35 marry 40 percent 40 percent right and the other ones they go behind the matocho right <laughs> <laughs> because they don't get married what about the last one what is the percentage of adults that you think that they still live with their parents in el salvador 45 percent 40 45 percent right this is like how old are you 35 and where do you live with my mom <laughs> <laughs> okay okay bye you say thank you very much but no thank you <laughs> and then you you go away and the next <laughs> and, and next you say thank you very next. much it's like i know I, 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 we are going to get married and we are going to go to live with my mother you say uh, maybe not right <laughs> Okay. Some, some mothers are very beautiful okay for the next class i need you please to go and check this one on the platform right for you to have an idea on on this reading this is there it's on the it's on the platform it's the changing family it's the last reading right this is the ultimate reading que tenemos en la en la plataforma so practice it please practice the reading because on monday we are going to use it you are going to read it so please practice pronunciation, practice intonation, new words, new vocabulary, everything, okay? Practice, hey. practice the practice, reading. Practice, practice. Yes, please, everything, pronunciation and everything, okay? And the reading has a specific questions, right? It has these different questions about the children from Judy, right? I need you please to actually check on the reading, right? I need you to check on the reading that we have and i need you please to answer the questions the questions here uh here are the last exam of the platform okay so yeah. ya si terminan esta lectura me van a dar por terminada la plataforma los exámenes etc okay yeah. the exams are very easy okay don't complicate that much and remember if you need any help with the exams the group is there and we always help okay Si se fijan, de repente, si alguien se equivoca en el grupo, si alguien tiene un problema, so, click, we answer in a very, very fast way. So, the last activity that I have for today, I am going to read this very short paragraph that I have, and it's about families, okay? Listen to the pronunciation because we are going to use it on Monday. My name is Luke, and I am 14. I live in Brighton. I have got a brother, Jack, and a sister, Kim. Let's see, here you go. Jack is the oldest, but I am the tallest. My father is a mechanic. I think he is the best mechanic in the world. My mother works in a hospital. My family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. They are my best friends. So when I have a problem, they are my advisors. We talk about everything. There are no taboos among us. 
At the weekends, we spend a lot of time together, okay? So if you want, you can check this video again on Facebook, on YouTube, and so if you want to practice the pronunciation, you can do it, okay? So I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. Please finish working on the platform. It is really, really important that you finish everything by Monday so you don't have any difficulty with, with this, okay? And if you have any question, for sure, I am going to be very uh, available to answer it, okay? Have a beautiful okay. night, and I am going to see you in the next class. Thank you very much, okay. students. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Happy Thank weekend. Bye. Bye. Right. Have a great Bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful Bye. weekend. See you Monday. See you on Monday, <laughs> kids. You can go now. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Continue Bye. practicing. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you for your participation in class. Continue working on everything that you're missing. See you. See you. See you. You can go to sleep now. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Have a beautiful weekend and continue working and practicing in everything that it's necessary. Okay. Bye, kids. everybody. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. We're going to finish right now. See you.